Beijing is the political and cultural center of China. It is a high-density, ultra-first-tier city with a population of nearly 30 million. Every inch of land here is gold, but there are more than 1,000 outstanding urban parks. Today, I am going to visit a park with a history of nearly 100 years in the center of Beijing. Local people said, if you want to visit a park in Beijing, you should go to Jinxiang Park first. I just came in Jingshan Park, and you know what? Coming inside is a breeze by using this Beijing electronic park card. With this, I can enter almost all the parks in Beijing without having to buy any separate ticket. Wow, truly a sight to behold. I've been in many parks all over China, but I like this one the most because of its rich history and its connection to Chinese culture. I am now heading to the highest point in Beijing. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, this is where the royals worship their ancestors. And from the top of this hill, you can see a commanding view of the whole city. Let's see how long it will take me to get to the top. I have finally reached the top after 20 minutes of grueling climbing. It's worth it. From here, you can see the whole of the Forbidden City. The ancient buildings with a long history of 600 years are a sight to behold. The square and upright buildings are in good condition, which give the people the majesty of ancient China. It also stands on the north-south central axis of Beijing. The layout of the whole city is in good order. This is a very rare axis of architectural art in the history of world cities. And this denotes the values of the Chinese people into having symmetry, balance, and centrality. These values can still be seen in Chinese lives until today. This place is really amazing. It has lots and lots of old trees, and it seems like that these trees were planted 110 years ago. A hundred years ago, this was an imperial forbidden garden. Now, it has become a public place for leisure activities for local people. Senior citizens have the best lives here in China because they have lots of time in their hands to do everything they want. They do exercise and they concentrate on building a healthy and good life. They have different activities as well that are quite frankly I haven't seen in any parts of the world. In Chinese language, it's called the Kungzhi. You need the delicate balance of agility, speed, and coordination to be able to play this. Oh. Coming here in Jingshan Park gave me a uh, better idea of what life should be, a better angle of how we should live our lives. I saw people here relaxing, walking. I saw people exercising, making their lives happy, making their bodies stronger. And saw some people enjoying the sceneries and beautiful places there. Beijing is one of the biggest cities in the world. And undeniably, it is a busy city. Our lives here are fast paced. People need such space to slow down. Today, China is also focusing on the construction of more urban leisure parks around historical sites to inject energy into the rapidly developing cities.